Right, what's up everyone? This is the Space Rail Level 4. Um, only track 1 is laid. So what I'd like to show to you guys, because this is most, probably the most frustrating part of this entire build, is getting the triple loop going. So what you need to do, unfortunately I was also incredibly frustrated, I wanted to give up. And fortunately I stumbled upon a link from uh, MIT, it was a video from them. And what they did is they actually explained the theory of what you need to complete a loop-de-loop. -loop. So I'll post the link to that video in case you want to see it. But right, what they essentially said is they said that the, the diameter of your loop must be multiplied by 2.7 to get the height that you have to launch from. Now, we don't have the diameter of the, the circle of the loop. But what we do have is we do have the height. So if you'll just bear with me, I'll just show you quickly. Sorry about that, but I'm back. So what we do have is we can have a look here. We can see at the height right there of your elevator down to the bottom is roughly... Twenty-four. Sorry, it's a bit longer. It's about twenty-seven. I'll be honest with you. I've done this before. It's about twenty-seven. So if you take twenty-seven and you divide that by two point seven, you're going to get ten. So that means your first diameter of your first circle, your first loop, needs to be roughly ten centimeters. Now, if you wanted that in inches, that would be roughly four. So if you just go again with your tape, and this isn't terribly low. There you go. You can see right there, that circle right there, that loop, it's about 10 centimeters. So that's the theory behind that. And then what you want to do is you just want to get progressively smaller with your circles, with your loops. And um, I'm going to show you that from the other side right now. But before I do that, I just want to explain to you as well is you need to actually you need to keep that line right there you need to keep it as close as possible to this first circle I'm talking about this line over here same with the second loop try keep that as close as possible keep it small um, and that's actually gonna be like that's gonna make sure that your ball stays on the track and that it doesn't come off so the last thing I want to show you is just here from the front now you can see quite clearly that my loops are getting progressively progressively smaller. And you can also see that the, the, the marble or the ball is staying on that track the whole time. It does not come off, it just stays on there. Beautiful, poetry in motion. Last thing I need to just explain to you guys, or just show you, is try to have a straight line. straight angle it's just gonna keep running like that you can see it's a straight line that it's gonna build up a lot of speed it's not gonna be stopped or impaired in any way and what that's gonna mean is it's almost gonna have its maximum velocity when entering that first loop which is actually most which should have its most speed in order to complete the triple loop so all right guys I hope this helped you I'm very proud of what I've achieved I've got two more tracks to lay but guys, don't give up if you don't, can't get past this first one. This video will help you. It's great, and it's an incredible pleasure to finish this thing.